For Century 21 Shelly, I'm Dennis O'Hara, and I'm joined today by Dave Conti of the Conti team of Leader Bank. Welcome. Yes, thank you for having me. Great, thanks. Thanks for joining us today. Our Lender Spotlight series is where we talk to the people that provide the financing for the projects that our um, clients participate in. So uh, why don't you get started and tell us how you got into the business and what uh, you like about uh, what you do. Yeah, sure. So uh, first worked for a mortgage broker uh, for eight years. Uh, I own my own mortgage broker company, actually right here in Stoneham. Mm -hmm. And um, after closing that down, came to Leader Bank in 2011. So between the mortgage broker experience and now lending directly experience at Leader Bank, uh, you know, I see a lot of different underwriting and, and programs, which which helps me help clients, you know, search and get qualified for the loan products that they need. Correct. Um, and what do you like about the business? What, what what motivates you every day to do what you do? Yeah, you know, every day is different, so I enjoy talking to different people every day, um, you know, working with numbers, you know, no day is, is ever the same. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're either, uh, you know, congratulating people on their new home or working with them to get them pre-approved at the beginning stages. Um, it's just, you know, never, um, never, never the same, you know, the, the day goes by quickly. You can't believe it's already five o'clock. Um, so yeah, just, just great, great business to be in. I thoroughly enjoyed it over the years. So how does the process work if someone were interested in, um, you know, looking at a new home, exploring their options, uh, how would they get in touch with you at contact? Yeah, so it's very often that an agent will introduce me, um, you know, hey, call my mortgage guy or try a second quote with Dave Conti, Leader Bank, make sure, you know, you're getting um, introduced to all the right programs. Mm -hmm. um, usually we have a quick phone call just about, you know, what are expectations and, you know, what kind of homes are you looking for? Everyone's situation is different, whether they're selling and buying or buying for the first time or downsizing. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have, you know, standard application where you can at your own leisure, go online and plug in your info. Um, or I can walk you through that application over the phone if that's comfort for people. Mm -hmm. um, and based on credit scores, credit reports, employment, assets, you know, we help clients qualify for any advantages, first time home buyer programs, discounts, um, never mind, you know, what are you comfortable with in addition to what do you qualify for? So you know, what are your what are your goals and what are you looking for? Great. Now, I know one of the things that you help people with are bridge loans. Why don't you uh, talk a little bit about what a bridge loan is and how uh, it might help? Yeah, yeah. So that's a great point. Bridge loans are great options for clients who are selling and buying. So a bridge loan lets you tap into the equity of your home you're selling before you sell. Mm -hmm. So you know, that's really three benefits. One is... You don't have to make offers contingent upon selling, which nobody likes to do. So that makes you attractive against other buyers. Um, lets you tap into your equity before you sell. Mm -hmm. So you can take out that initial mortgage that you want with that down payment money already down. Mm -hmm. um, and then third, lets you use that equity for down payment. So you don't have to maybe liquidate other assets you might have, which might, you know, could affect capital gains or cause you tax if you have to sell some stocks in the short term to, to make up a down payment. Um, so, so really popular, you know, more so gives buyers the comfort of buying their new home, moving at their leisure because they're able to tap into that equity um, with a bridge loan. And then now their home's empty. You know, you guys can go to work and do your thing, stage it. They don't have people coming through for open houses while they're living there. Right. So, it, you know, it's really nice from a new homeowner standpoint, being able to move at your leisure and now list your property while it's, while it's empty and hopefully have a better run at it. So. Yeah. Now, how about uh, down payment assistance? I know sometimes, uh, you know, people are, are trying to get approved for a mortgage, but just don't have, um, you know, the what they need as far as a down payment. How do you help that? Yeah, great question. So first time home buyers, there's lots of different programs we have. Um, and for instance, if you're buying in Boston, there's a grant program mm -hmm. where you can access money for down payment and closing costs. We work with mass housing products, which also offer down payment assistance. Mm -hmm. um, you know, dependent on your first time home buyer status, your income level, maybe different assets that you hold would dictate which programs you qualify for. And those also sometimes come with discounted rates as well. We have some no PMI programs that can be combined with those grants or down payment assistance. So really, really some some great options for first time home buyers, which is why it's important you talk to the right people when you're getting qualified or getting pre-approved so that, you know, we cross check everyone who applies through these different programs. Yeah. Um, so that can help you, you know, gain access to something that you might not even know about. Okay. Um, so, yeah, some some great benefits. And I want to ask something that uh, may be unique to Leader Bank. So something called the Purchase Pass? 
You yeah, yeah. So Purchase Pass, that's a, a specialty program we have. Yeah. Uh, we call it your pass to an accepted offer. Um, and that's where we underwrite you in advance of having an accepted offer. So all the work that you do once you have an accepted offer, we'll do it on the front end. So we'll send out paperwork and disclosures to you. We'll collect your income and assets. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to filter that through the underwriter. So they're going to ask questions about different things on your credit. They're going to request additional documents that need, we need after we review what you've sent in. Um, you know, that 30 day process from start to finish where we would do usually conduct after you have an accepted offer to get you to closing. Mm -hmm. We try to do that in like one to two weeks. Yeah. Um, so that allows you not only to have a pre-approval from myself, but now you have a commitment letter from Leader Bank. Um, so that can separate you from from buyers when you're making offers. Yeah. You know, and not only are you pre-approved, but hey, all my underwriting has been done. You know, there's minimal risk, very low risk that anything's going to fall through. Um, also, all you need is an appraisal and title work from closing attorney. Mm -hmm. So, you know, because of 95% of the work is done, you can offer quick close dates. We, uh, we, we, um, we market, we advertise, uh, close 10 days after you sign a purchase sale agreement because you've done all the legwork. Um, you know, one step further, if you feel comfortable waiving a mortgage contingency because I've reviewed documents, that's something popular that's done in the industry. Yeah. Um, now the underwriter has reviewed it, not just me. So you could feel that much more comfortable waiving a mortgage contingency and at the end of the day, whether you waive a mortgage contingency or can, you know, close fast or just show that you've been approved by underwriting, you know, it's all about making sellers feel comfortable about your offer and hopefully giving you the leg up or whatever it takes to to beat out other buyers. So then, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, what do you like to do when you're you're not uh, helping people secure their mortgage? What? Uh, yeah, great question. So, uh, you know, I was lucky enough to buy a place up in New Hampshire myself. Um, so, uh, my family and I have three children. We love to go up there, uh, um, on the lake, enjoy that in the summertime, ski and snowmobile in the wintertime. Yeah. Uh, so that's always, uh, it's always a benefit. Um, and actually to that point, uh, Lear Bank, we do lend in all 48 continental states. Mm -hmm. Um, all my business is mostly referrals. So it's a lot of, you know, New England and down to Florida. Sure. But, um, yeah, a lot of, a lot of, I've seen a lot of people not only relocate to New Hampshire, especially with, a lot of people working remotely now, but yeah, second homes are popular and even investment properties with Airbnb. So, um, yeah, some, uh, some great options to take advantage of. Right. Yeah. So now without naming names, um, tell me what, uh, what quality someone should be looking for when they're looking to work for the real estate agent. Cause I know you work with a lot of real estate agents. So what, what would be some of your qualities you'd be looking for if you needed to work with the real estate agent? Yeah. So working with a real estate agent, you know, I think it's very important to have contact with them right i mean be able to call someone on their cell or you know a lot of a lot of things happen on the weekends uh, at night people have questions people have time sensitive last minute hey do we need to get this offer in or can can you run uh, a bpo a, a broker price opinion on this property what should i offer what do you think about these you know there's just a lot of questions that people are really learning especially you know maybe if they're buying in the town for the first time um, so, you know, really important for agents to have, you know, not only the experience, but to be able to get back to these clients, you know, in a time sensitive manner, um, especially in these markets where, you know, it, it's kind of a seller's market still. And, you know, they might have the upper hand, you know, you don't have a lot of time, unfortunately, probably to do homework yeah. or to, you know, make decisions. So I think, you know, getting back to clients as a real estate agent um, with good information is, is, you know, number one. Um, yeah. So if someone wanted to get in touch with you, how would they do that? Yeah, so you can go to DaveConti.com, which is obviously my name. Uh, that will forward you over to my LeaderBank secure site. Uh, you can email me at ContiTeam at LeaderBank.com. And, of course, uh, my cell phone and phone number on those websites where you can also reach me 24-7. Um, and, and to that degree, too, you know, I do have the Conti Team email, which is a shared email. So... You know, my assistant and I, um, among others, that helps us, you know, again, with the customer service, get, get, get back to clients, um, you know, as soon as possible mm -hmm. uh, and hopefully not have people waiting too long um, to get their answers. So, right. So accessibility, that's that's key to uh, it's the key. And in the game, no one wants to wait for things, right? Everybody wants an instant. So <laughs> and, uh, you know, whether I'm doing this interview or, um, you know, God forbid, out at a dinner or something like that, uh, you know, people still want answers. So it's a it's a great way, a great uh, advantage, I find. 
yeah. you know, having the having the team and having people to help, um, you know, assist buyers or agents, you know, get the information they need whenever they need it. So, okay. yeah. well, I appreciate you joining me today and um, on our Lender Spotlight series. Uh, anything else you'd want to close with? Um, I mean, I think that's it. Uh, you know, I think it's just important whether you're working with, you know, real estate agents or, or loan officers to, you know, can't beat the experience. You know, someone who's been doing it for 20 plus years, you know, they've seen it all, the ups and downs, you know, the, the different um, different markets. And um, I would say, you know, one thing is can't control the rates. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, the values in these areas, they just they seem to never go down. Yeah. So um, I don't think anyone's ever looked back and said, oh, I wish I waited to buy a property. So right. my, uh, my suggestion would be get in there and uh, marry the house and date the rate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Dave Cotty, Leader Bank, appreciate you joining us today on our Lender Spotlight Series for Century 21 Shelley. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Dennis O'Hara, and we'll see you next time.